Alrighty guys and welcome back in. Today we're going to be spawning in on the underground complex. Now I see my teammate behind me with Bond. I know the killer has corrupt intervention. We're going to be versing a Huntress. It's going to be a bit of an awkward map for her. There are going to be a couple of areas where she can land some pretty amazing hatchets. However though, keeping in mind that based on this map there is something called a, there's a platform gen which is going to be very safe and you kind of want to leave that to the end of the game. You don't want to be the person doing the gen where I'm nodding right now unless you're on death hook. You want to leave it for your team in case you're wondering it is inside the laboratory. Alright, what do we know? We know that nobody on the team has DS. I want to let you guys know I am in a three-man pre-made this game as well. I'm going to apply pressure to this generator myself. I have information from Bond if anybody is nearby. And it looks like I know where another generator is, another teammate is, and one of my allies has gone down. The fact that the Huntress hasn't picked him up means she's either refilling hatchets or breaking a pallet, or possibly both. Alright, she knew exactly where I was and came straight across to me. Don't know how. I gave her no information. I missed no skill checks bit of an interesting decision for her to make then that was very bad play by me all right looks like she's going for the shots chat I don't think so beautiful it'd be very impressive if you can yeah all right well, she came straight across to me. She got a little bit of pressure on me at the beginning of the trial. The good news is I had a teammate staying on the gen the entire time and a teammate on another gen. And she got one pallet for one down, one hit, and one dead hard. I don't think that's bad value. I have to leave you, I'm afraid, Bill. If I was full health, I would be more ambitious and willing to stay if I had dead hard as well. Alright, that's the gen upstairs done. Oh my god, I'm in a bad spot. Really good shot by her. I tried to crouch, but she managed to get away with an incredible hit on us. Alright, I'm actually going to crawl in between the pallet. I think it's the smartest play right now, knowing I have a teammate nearby. He's going to wait. He's going to hide. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to look. She's already got another person down. We've got two generators done. I'm going to wiggle on the ground when my teammate should heal me. But it looks like he's coming in for it anyways. She might have nurses calling and be coming in from a hit around a wall. Right, what are we looking at? We're okay. we got two gens done. One person hooked. One pallet consumed. As long as somebody goes to work on a gen now, we're living the dream. She took a hit on Bill. And we're coming for a quick save on this player. Bill is down. She can come around that corner and hatch at me, so I have to dead hard. I made the corner in time, which is nice. My other ally hasn't been hit. I find a gem, I apply pressure, and that is going to really hurt this killer. She seems to be really good with her shots, I'm not going to lie. She got an incredible one on me. However, I was forced to funnel into a hallway, looking for a gen in this corner. It doesn't look like we are successful. Oh, there we go. I almost walked away without even checking it. Alright, she's got multiple downs. It looks like this killer wants to slug, which is leaving people on the ground. And that's how she wants to win. Based on that, we should be playing around it by doing gens. And that's exactly what's happening. She can see me. She knows exactly where I am through barbecue and chili. Alright, now she has five hatchets. She has no respect for the pallet. She has another hatchet. I have to go now. Won't be able to make it if she has another hatchet. And it doesn't look like she does. She's really looking for the bloodlust, which is good for me. Grabbing hatchets. Alright, no Iron Maiden, no faster reload. Let's get out of here. We did use a lot of resources. Let's use line of sight against this girl as much as I can. She might try and cut me off. So I need to take these long walls against her. Make sure she can't punish me for it. Looks like she has real good prediction of my movement. Yet again, another great attempt. I have to dip during that small window that I have. See if she cuts me off. Yet again, she does. She downed me. It's my first hook, I think. It's my second hook, isn't it? We got pressure on one generator and we got group stack healing. Real good mind games from the killer. At the same time, generally in a situation where a killer commits this long to a chase, we'd be getting mass pressure on gens. 
Is it my second or my first hook? Might actually be my first hook. Good. First hook, one person on a gen. I'm going to wave my arms to let everyone know I can physically see the killer under hook. I know how close the killer is. My teammates should understand my action that I'm currently doing and play off that. She's still right there. I just saw her cloak. So she still hasn't left. She really just wants to play very close to the hook. Right, generator done. Here she comes back already. She never even left. I need to get upstairs. Upstairs is a very long loop and painful for a 110% movement speed killer to try and catch up to you. I'm going to take the heal on the stairs. That way I can respond appropriately. She might have nurses calling. I do have an ally that can take a hit for me and run down the staircase if he needs to. I'm going to let him finish the heal. I'm waiting an extra additional second. All right, let's go to the corner and work on this gen. Even though this Huntress is playing really well, she is in a bit of an awkward situation because we just keep applying pressure to generators. She cannot chase more than one person at a time. Based on that alone, it's going to be very hard for her to try and snowball this game. I know I had a somebody working on a gen on the other end of the map. I am now working on a generator as well. All these pallets are pulled down, which are going to make them near impossible for me to play over when she has hatchets. However, she doesn't have exhaustion add-on, so I can play for distance if I take a hatchet in the back with line of sight as well. I'm on the final generator in the corner of the map. There's going to be another gen down there on the left-hand side that needs to be done. A generator I'm on. Therefore, this killer does not have a plausible three-gen strat. It's a hard map for Huntress. The thing is, she committed too long to her chases in this game. She also tried to slug a little bit too much when the opportunity didn't favor her. That being said, she doesn't have stability on Ruin or any kind of regression. I haven't seen her pop goes a weasel, a generator either as well. Therefore, this is the kind of reason why she's in a little bit of a sticky spot. That, then again, like I said before, it's a very hard map for the Huntress indeed. All right, one person is injured. I'm pretty sure that teammate does have adrenaline. I'm going to be able to complete this generator and heal them. One other person has been hit. I don't know if they have adrenaline. Nope, only one adrenaline. I'm going to go to the opposite door. He's going to go to the opposite door. I'm going to go to the closed door. We're going to prep it. Then we're going to make a play towards the opposite door again. Listening for a lullaby. If I could force her to M1 me through the ha uh, through the pallet rather than hatchet me, I can take massive distance. I won't drop that pallet. I will force her to take the M1. It's the smartest play. Unless she's like physically in between the pallet, then I will drop it with a prep hatchet. Right now, she's resorting back to looking for leaving somebody on the ground to win the trial. She tried this strategy a little earlier and it was unsuccessful. So I think she's going to try it now that there's no gen to have to deal with. Now, my door is prepped at 99. I don't know where the solo queue guy is. There he is, the bill. Noted. She would have seen me on barbecue and chili. Now, the smartest play I can do is pick the guy up from dying state and then save. Good body block by her. I am exhausted still, though. Alright, Bill, I'll take a heal from you, my friend. Right here. Line of sight yet again. Nope, we have to go a little bit up the staircase, Bill. It's going to be much safer, especially if she has nurses, and that is exactly what it looks like she has. She's still chasing. Moderate abuse as well. Really hurting. I just got to run for distance. I don't have a play here. My play is a corner. And just try and get away from her. I should have forced her to down me there too. So she's using monitor view. She's using nurses calling, barbecue and chili. And her other perk is unaccounted for. She doesn't look like she has pop because she never regressed any generator. This gives all my teammates a time to heal and make a play towards me in a very good area as well that they can go for a borrowed time play. Keeping in mind that she is going to get very close to them. I didn't have any pallets or any windows to utilize against the killer while injured and exhausted in a very bad position. As long as they don't take all take a hit right now, they'll be fine to save me. So you've got two people coming in this direction, one of them down on the right. She can easily come back to the hook during this window that she currently has, knowing that that guy has to recover from dying state. And listening to the lullaby, I'm not sure if she is coming back just yet, because that monitor views, instead of having a 24 meter heartbeat, she has a 16 meter heartbeat. I think she has came back to the hook, giving them a, ta a window to save my ally, but it looks like he stopped her from saving by wiggling on the ground and holding shift, forcing them to come towards us. And it looks like she's just camping under the hook here. Taking the hit. I, okay, she actually got a cross map hatchet on that guy. I'm phenomenally impressed with that angle. 
We should split the vibe instead of giving her field of view. I'm gonna go around at a harder angle for her to try and anticipate. I am on death hooks, so I have to be careful. The guy upstairs isn't. I still wanna come in for Bill. Bill has Kindred, which is huge value right now. Now I know this killer has nurses calling. Coming down this staircase is super risky right now. Bill's not waiting to take the BT hit. Now he's behind me. That's really good. She's trying so hard for the angle. She can't get it. Bill took a bad turn. I'm actually going to cycle back around and go through the map because she's only 110% movement speed. Alright. This map actually worked in her favor, just like Bond's working in mine, telling me where the exit gate is, because I have a teammate there. Everybody's gonna walk away smooth sailing. Think of how much pressure she would have had if she worked on, if she like forced people off gens as well, rather than committing to her slugging early. She would have killed one or two people just then, as opposed to giving everybody multiple hooks at the end of the game. Considering exit gates were powered, she did really well. Or I wanted to dead hard on an angle and help my teammate get more blood points for the heal, but she was outside of heartbeat, heartbeat range and just in lullaby. I'm not going to lie, she had some incredible shots, but time management is very important when you're playing killer and the chases you choose. If you can't hit a survivor or get a pallet in 15 seconds, you generally have to recap on what is currently going on in the trial. Anyways, guys, GG is well played. If you're watching this informative educational rank one game over at YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do educational informative DVD killer and survivor content five days a week over at Twitch if you guys want to tune into the live stream. Anyways, guys, that was a three-man swift, and I'll see See you in the next video. Have a good one.